Samsung soundbar, it's the S800B. Check the timestamps below for points of interest such as the dimensions and other things. First thing, or first impression, that is a tiny, thin soundbar. That's crazy, crazy thin. Let's just pop that down there. <laughs> Accessories, instruction book and remote pack. Nice little subwoofer. Pretty cool. So first look at the subwoofer. It's got a woofer on each side. I'm guessing one's active and one's passive. I'm not sure, so you find out. Onto the accessories pack. Figure eight mains lead for the sound bar or sound bar power pack. Figure eight mains lead for the subwoofer. Power pack there plugging into the bar, figure eight mains lead into there. Wall mount kit, we'll put a card up there, have a click, shows you step by step to how to wall mount a sound bar if you need assistance. This is the wall mount kit that comes with it. These screws attached to the bar. Paper template there for marking out the wall, so it'll tell you where to mount the holes in relation to the sound bar. Two brackets here to be mounted to the wall. So when these screws are on the back of the bar, it will drop and slot into place like so. So two of those, screw to the wall, and then slot your sound bar down onto it. But you can go through step by step on the instructions. Okay, we've got the supplied paperwork as well. We've got safety information in the user manual there. Bit there on connecting up the sound bar and repairing the subwoofer if it loses pairing. Using the remote control there. And we've got a quick wall mount guide as well. Pretty nice and simple. On the guide it shows using your fixings to the wall, sticking that paper template where you want your bar to be, and attaching your fixings and slotting the bar on. Final thing in there is the remote control. A nice small premium remote control for that sound bar. Got power on and off at the top. Input button there. Left, right, up, down and the play pause button. So press play and pause. You can skip forwards and backwards or rewind and fast forward if you're streaming music. Mute button, sound modes, information. You can rock up and down there for volume and you can rock up and down there for the woofer level as well bluetooth pairing button there to pair your mobile phones and things to stream music channel levels there so you can press channel level use your cursors to alter those independent channel levels we can press tone control and alter the treble and bass we've also got that settings cog there where we can cycle through the settings small tab there to pull out to reveal the charge port USB type C socket there so you can charge up the rechargeable battery inside. So that's looking at the soundbar from the top. It does quote true 3.1.2 channels, so free channel or free is the free speakers at the front facing forwards. So it should be left, right and center. Point one is the subwoofer and the two is the two upward firing speakers there. You see we've got these touch controls on the top as well. Manual operation. On the back, I don't know how well this is gonna show with the camera so far out. It's a wide soundbar. There are the threads for those two screws for the wall mount. So screw the screws in, brackets on the wall, simply slots on, nice and easy. Some rubber feet underneath if it's on a table so it won't slide and mark the table. And at the top we've got those two upward firing speakers so I'll just zoom in. That's looking at it more closely so that's the top and we can see that upward firing speaker. 
So I just turn it. You can see front speakers there as well. Don't know if they show through that grill, but I can see them with my eyes. And if I move it along to the center of the bar, touch controls there. That bit of POS about the 3.1.2 channel. And again, the upward firing speaker at the other end and the front speakers. Here we can see that threaded hole for the wall mount screw. 19 volt input from the DC power pack. And then to the other side, see if I can attempt to get it close up. We can just see there we've got our HDMI ARC port. It's mini HDMI in, annoyingly. So did it give me an HDMI adapter? Don't think it did. My God, so we've got mini HDMI ARC port there, so you will need a mini HDMI adapter and a service port. That's the subwoofer from the top, quite a nice sort of matte finish there. On the side, we can see we've got the link light, so that should turn blue when connected to the sound bar, standby when it's off, ID set if it loses its power into the bar, and that figure eight mains input. Underneath, some rubber feet there so it won't mark a wood floor or whatever, or slide about. And that is the front, with a bit of a Samsung logo there. So I'm guessing that's the active woofer there. Okay, so I think that's about a seven inch woofer, roughly. That could be a passive woofer. I'm guessing why only one's active and one's passive. That's about five and a half inch. Pretty cool, so I'll get the dimensions of this in the sandbar next. Onto the dimensions, just under 24 centimeters and just under nine and a half inches. Height wise, same 24 centimeters or maybe nine and a quarter inches pretty much a cube just under 24 centimeters all round cubed onto the bar critical one being the width it is quite wide 116 centimeters uh, just over 45 maybe 45 and three quarter inches that's the total width the depth of it 40 millimeters and the height of it, try and include the feet if I can, about 37 millimetres or one and a half inches. Now uh, onto connecting up the soundbar, you can see we've got this mini HDMI port there, uh, which is a fair enough idea because they're trying to keep the soundbar nice and slim, but it would have been a good idea to give you one of those, so that's a mini HDMI to normal HDMI adapter, or micro HDMI even. Off camera, I've whipped out my Stanley knife. I've actually had to trim that bit of the cable off so it fits into here, so a better idea than that adapter. Get the mini or micro HDMI to normal HDMI. So other end of this cable is connected to ARC on my TV set. That's the audio return channel. That's gonna give the signals to my sound bar and let my TV control it with the volume and so on. That should now plug into there and fit, I hope. Okay, so you can see how much I've had to chop out of that cable to make it fit. Will it still work? Who knows? Would have been nice to get a cable with it. Onto the other side. And on the opposite side to the HDMI ARC, we've got that tiny DC input. So it's my DC power pack connected to the mains. That just pops in. figure eight mains into the mains input. You can see the light's gone blue, so that's now paired to the bar. Should be automatic. If it's not, follow the pairing instructions. We'll now turn on the TV that's connected to the soundbar, see if it connects. Each camp, they're struggling to find food, resources, access to healthcare is almost non-existent. So it's extraordinarily complicated to get the most fundamental things that people need. I, I saw children who were malnourished, 
um, and and in very very dire circumstances. Okay, so just got a message there. We've got TV plus the soundbar. I'm going to disconnect the Q Symphony for now and do just soundbar only for the demo. Let's have a look how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to go. So I've put that to soundbar only for the purpose of the demo. Just a bit of normal TV sound, so I'll say credit to Newsnight on the BBC for this, just testing out the audio. Accessing urgent care, including long waits for A&E, could be behind many of those extra deaths. People are dying because they can't be seen in time. And the majority are people of illnesses including heart disease, liver problems, diabetes and strokes. Here's our science correspondent, Kate Lamble. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, we all had to try and get our heads around a lot of new numbers. One of them was excess deaths. That's when you look at the number of people who typically die throughout the year and compare it to the current situation. Routinely now, we go to patients who have waited six, seven, eight hours. I would be wrong to say that there are times when I haven't shed a tear for people we haven't been able to help because it's been too late. Credit to bensounds.com for the quick music demo. Do a quick cycle through the sound mode, pressing the sound mode button on the remote. So game, game mode. Standard. Standard. Adaptive sound. Adaptive. DTS Virtual X. I'm going to leave it on surround, it defaulted to it, it sounds good enough. Okay, I'm going to say credit to Marvel Entertainment, I'm going to try their Secret Invasion trailer, there's a movie trailer. plenty of other times and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail yeah well this is different how much do you know about your security detail what do you mean how much do i know about it Curie. 
for this fight that lies before us. This is just the beginning. This is my war. Alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. And what is that? Again, credit to Disney and Marvel Entertainment for that. Go back to okay, Sky. So all in all, say pretty cool sound bar. Surprising sound for how small and slim it is. It's quite quite good quality all round sound. It's got depth and punch there. Plenty of bass from the subwoofer as well. I think they're about 599 quid at the minute in the UK. That'll probably reduce later in the year with promos coming up. I don't know if there's half price promos coming up as well, but all in all, very decent. And that is it for now. Good